Uh, it's a beautiful day out in sunny South Carolina. I'm in a little park out in uh, Ravenel, uh, out 17A. I've got a little double wide I was wanting to show you. It's a double wide that I got free of charge. Uh, the folks, I didn't have to pay the sellers. You know, there was a two month slot rent. I got two years back taxes on it need to be paid. But other than that, I didn't pay anything for it. So, I want to show you, you know, what it looks like. This is the finished product, and uh, maybe explain how I come about finding it or, or what I'm going to do as far as getting rid of it now. Nice little yellow double wide. We got new skirting. You can see I put in a brand new pole, electric pole. Uh, got some beautiful oak trees providing a canopy over the house. A little double wide. Um, we painted it yellow. It's a nice uh, neutral yellow. Is uh, if you know the number one sold color when it comes to houses or mobile homes or what have you is yellow. So if you want to get your place sold fast, well, this is the color to go with. All right, let's head inside and have a look. Okay. Now we don't have the power on yet. Today's going to be the last day for inspections to happen. So then we'll have power on immediately. You see we put down some of this laminate flooring. It's really pretty. It's so dark mahogany looking. Uh, laid down some, you know, some base trim. Made it stop looking so much like a double wide in here. You know, we still got a little bit of the seams on the walls. We didn't completely get rid of all of that. Well, let's check out the two bedrooms. Here we've got a nice new little door. Got some brown carpet on the floor, some dark colored carpet, so that if these tenant buyers don't last for forever, well then when we get it back, we're not going to have to replace the flooring. Again in here, here's another small bedroom. Same thing, dark flooring. Here's our little bathroom that comes off of the living. We got a little tub. I like the little checkered design they threw in there. <laughs> Not too bad at all. Alright. So, this over here is off the living room as well. This is the master bedroom. We'll raise it up. Got a little vanity over there in the corner. The sink. Again, dark carpet. Here's the master bath. Got uh, here's your shower over here. Toilet looks like we still need a lid on the toilet. Toilets are something, you know. The toilet lids are probably the hardest thing to find to match. Uh, best place to go to find them usually down at like a Habitat for Humanity store, or even if you're driving by a toilet that somebody's done stuck out on the road. It often pays to get out and just grab the cap to that toilet. Because it's so hard to find them that match up. A lot of times we just end up replacing the whole toilet itself just because it's missing that cap on top. This little cabinet in the bathroom is nice. Okay, this is the laundry area. It comes right off of the master bathroom. A little spot there. Had to put in a new door in the back. Uh, yeah, nice little. We got really nice sized lots in here. Okay, this is the kitchen. Let's have a look at what we did to the kitchen. See there? Went ahead and tiled the countertops. Doesn't that look nice? Yeah. Tiled the countertops, got a new sink in. Very nice. Got ourselves went and bought a little used refrigerator. It's nice and white. Slapped it in. We painted the cabinets and that didn't even have to replace them just painted them all and got ourselves we just cleaned up the old hardware that was on it instead of having to go buy new you see we had to go ahead and put up a new hood I was looking for one of those down at Habitat but couldn't find it stove is used but it doesn't look too bad 
And that's pretty much it. You know, we, uh, I picked this place up for next to nothing. It needed a whole lot of work. Uh, the previous owner, what he had done is he had actually got up on the roof and decided, oh, I'm going to replace the roof, but it only replaced about, he only did a half of a job to it. And then he ran out of money or interest or drive or what have you, and he just let the place sit here. So after a while, of course, the wind blows the tar paper off the top. It started leaking water throughout the trailer, damaged the roof, damaged the floors, damaged the walls, and it really looked bad in here. So we really pretty much had to start from scratch. There was a lot of demo and we had to go for new drywall, you know, new uh, insulation for on the inside of the walls, had to take care of, you know, cleaning up any type of mold that might have been on the studs for the walls, for the flooring, and we got it cleaned up. Uh, this project did take a while, you know, I've been in here off and on for the last nine months, but for the most part, I'm really not much into the property more than about 12 or maybe 15,000. I've already got myself a buyer for this. They've agreed to put $3,000 down and uh, will pay me for the next five years $450 per month. So if they don't make it towards the end of the five years, then of course I'll get the property back and I'll do the same thing all over again. So just wanted to bring you out here today show you one of my properties, one of the ways it's bringing in some good cash flow uh, for my company. And you know, unless you're getting a double wide you know, that's free, then I really don't suggest picking them up in parks because uh, they can be more expensive. You know, if they've got a payment on them and they're in a park and they need work, that can just be way too much money. So, but if you can get one for free, they can be a really good cash cow. It can, the money can keep coming in for forever. And, uh, you know, you just sit back and collect your paychecks. So, hope you liked it. This was my free double wide. And I'll talk to you later. Visit me at www.thekeystocashflow.com for more videos, for more information on how to improve your quality of life and earn your financial freedom. All right, this is Bob. I'm out.